Red's Fly Shop. This is Bob. How may I help you today? Look at that. Woo! Okay, we're going to talk sunglasses here today. Bunch of people been asking about these. I've been wearing uh, my Bahio sunglasses in most of my fishing videos. In fact, almost all of my fishing videos for the past several months. And I have to say, I'm super impressed. When I started wearing these, we didn't even carry Bahio sunglasses. I just tried them on one day and uh, was looking at this particular lens. And this is the violet mirrored lens which is their highest contrast lens, excellent for low light. And once I got the, the glasses and started wearing them, I came to this realization that when I really need to be able to see and be able to, whether it's spotting fish or just structure or being able to read water and actually see what the river's doing underneath the surface by reading the chop, it's usually in periods of low light. And I had never had a good pair of low light sunglasses before until I got uh, these Bahios. This is the Stiltsville frame uh, with the violet mirrored lens. And again, this is their low light lens. This particular frame comes in several different lens colors, uh, but the one I needed at the time uh, was this one. So I have other sunglasses, um, mostly Costas, and I've been really happy with my Costas. I've got no problem there, but these were pretty darn impressive. Impressive enough that a couple of other staff members wound up with them, and then here we are, we're now uh, have a pretty substantial inventory of Bahio uh, sunglasses. But I'm just gonna go ahead and hold the frame up um, to the camera uh, as best I can. It's not gonna focus, oh, there we go. So you can see, kind of just get a general idea of what the lens looks like. And I think what I'll do is I'll put it out into the great outdoors, uh, too dark. You know, that's what that lens is going to look like approximately on your eyeballs when you're looking for trout or looking for structure under the water. Uh, I have a tendency to want to wear these most of the day. I'll start with them in the morning. And if I'm out on a bright, bright day, uh, and I've had this happen a couple of times, these are going to be a little bit too light of a lens. I was in Christmas Island last month and I would, we had really dark weather most of the week. And I would wear these glasses and all of a sudden uh, the sun would come through and, uh, and, and the clouds would break and I would have just clear skies for a second. And my eyes, holy smokes, it was almost overwhelming how bright these glasses were. Now, of course, my eyes would adjust and I wore these glasses the entire week, but it reminded me just how bright these things are. So uh, evening and morning, when I'm really having a difficult time reading chomp, seeing depth, seeing fish, seeing rises to a dry fly, especially in tropical situations on cloudy days. I mean, these have become my absolute go-to uh, glass. Now, if I were starting over today and buying glasses, I would personally, these are uh, the Stiltsville frame. They have pretty good coverage. I can't remember if they're a large fit or what the fit is, but you can see them on and what they actually look like. But if I were starting over today and I needed a two glass system, uh, in the box here is the green mirrored lens. So this is the violet uh, mirrored for low light. And I've been wearing that, that glass almost 100% of the time because uh, we're often fishing in low light when it's cloudy. So they come nicely packaged. They come in this little bag. Obviously you saw the box there. Uh, there's something else in there. Not too worried about that. This isn't supposed to be a box opening. This is just supposed to be a review. I think there's a lot of value in the leather case. Uh, this comes, we, I think, only sell the glass lenses in these. Uh, and this is just a little different frame uh, color. Uh, but that's the green mirrored lens right there. That's a little bit better for a bright day. And let me see if my little trick works again and get some of the glare off of it. But a little bit darker on the green mirrored lens. And that's that one right there. But if I were starting from scratch, I'd, I'd have a set of the green mirrored for bright days, a uh, set of the violet mirrored uh, for low light conditions. And this is kind of one of those epiphanies and why I wanted to do a review is I didn't realize how much I was missing out on having a set of low light lenses until I had this particular set. So that's my review. I've had quite a few questions and comments about how I like the Behio sunglasses. Absolutely love them. Staff's in love with them. 
They're an extremely high quality glass. Are they better than Costa's? Are they better than Smith's? I'm not sure I can answer that, but I just know that uh, I've been super happy with these. Um, I've got one tiny little ding uh, on the right lens from dropping them in the parking lot. That's on me. I think even a glass lens is gonna get a little nick, but they seem to have held up well. Uh, the hinges and stuff are spring-loaded. Um, they pop up real nice. They have enough flexibility in them, so I think they'll fit any person's head. See, there's a little spring-loading action out there without pinching your ears, uh, but I've been super happy with them. Of course, there's a link to the product and links to other Bahio frame styles in the video description, but Bahio is all about fly fishing. I'm all about fly fishing. I think it's a super product and the staff members wearing these so far have been extremely happy with them.